What's going on guys? John Lovett here from CodingView.com and in this video, we're going to add sessions to our e-commerce website for Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to work on sessions. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingView.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we sort of set the groundwork for our shopping cart. In this video, we want to add sessions. And sessions are a way to keep track of what a user has done on the website. So they may come to the website, they may put some things in the shopping cart, they may leave, they may come back a week later. We want those things to still potentially be in the shopping cart and identified with that user. And we do that by using something called sessions. And this will create a little ID that sort of stays on the user's computer as a cookie. And uh, that's how we can track that. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django e-commerce series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So in this video, we're going to be working a lot in this little cart thing. We set this up in the last video. If you didn't see that, check the playlist. And let's come over here to cart and right-click and create a new file. And let's go ahead and save this as cart.py. And here we're just going to create a cart class that we can access throughout the website. So let's create a class called cart. And then inside of here, we want to define our regular underscore underscore init underscore underscore is how we always uh, initialize classes in Python. And inside of here, we want to pass self and the request. And the request is like the, uh, the user request. Anytime a user goes to your website or a web page, they're making a request to view that page. We want to send that request through. Just like in the views.py file, we're always using requests. So first we want to create a self.session. And this is going to equal that request dot session. We need to get the current session key if it exists. So to do that, let's create a variable called cart and let's go self.session.get. And we need to name our session key. And I'm just going to call it session key. We're saying, hey, if this exists, get it, right? So we're saying, hey, if this session key exists in the session, get it and assign it to this cart variable. Uh, if the user is new, no session key. So let's create one. So this will happen if they're a returning user, it will find that session key on their computer. If it doesn't find it, well, that means they're a new user, right? So let's go if session underscore key is not in the request dot session, then we need to create one. So let's go cart equals self dot session. And then inside of here, we're going to use square brackets. And let's set the session underscore key to something. What do we want to set this to? Well, nothing right now. Now this thing right here, this is a Python dictionary. And as things get added to the cart, you can think of it sort of as getting added to this, you know, context dictionary that it's assigned to the session key. So, you know, we might put in a, you know, book or something, whatever, um, sort of think of it like that, right? So, okay, so far so good. And now the only other thing we need to do is make sure this shopping cart works on every page of the website. So, you know, we've got this cart app, we've got our store app, we've got the regular e-com project up here. We wanna make sure the cart works on all pages because we need to keep track of what a user does on all pages of our site. So let's make sure cart is available on all pages of site. All right. And to do that, we just set self dot cart equal to cart. So, okay, that looks good. Another part of making sure this works on every page of our site is we need a context processor. And we've never really talked about context processors, but this is sort of like a template that you can put into Django where Django will then look at a certain place to find, you know, in, a, in this case, our cart. So go ahead and save this. And let's come back over here to our cart app, right click, and let's create a new file. And let's file save as, and we're going to call this context underscore processors, P-R-O-C-E-S-S-O-R-S -S -S -S, uh, dot pi. And inside of here, we need to import all of this stuff. So let's go from dot cart, we want to import cart. Now from dot cart, this dot cart thing, that's our cart dot pi. And then we want to import cart uppercase C, because that's what our cart class is named. 
All right, so we want to do that. Now, here let's create context processor so our cart can work on all pages of the site, whatever. And to do that, we just define, and I'm going to call this cart. We want to pass in our request as always. And then here, let's return the default data from our cart. So to do that, we just want to return. And I'm going to use squiggly brackets. And we want to return from cart. We want the cart request. Uppercase C, obviously, because it's uppercase C, because that's what our uppercase C class is called. So that's really kind of all we need to do. Now we just need to let Django know that this context processor exists. And we do that in our original e commerce app uh, down here in the settings.py file. So not in our store, but in our e com app. Go to settings.py and just scroll down here to templates. And then we just need to add a new one here. So we come up here, hit enter. And here we want to call cart dot context underscore processors dot cart. And then always put a comma at the end, just in case we want to create another one of these later. And now cart dot, because in our cart directory, that's this cart right here, we created this file called context processors, which is right here, context processors. And inside of that, we have this cart class, which is this guy right here. So you string all those together, it becomes cart dot context processors dot cart. So that's pretty much it. We are done. We're good to go here. Now this will create a session for new users. It will keep track of the old session for old users. And that's all there is to it. And we can test this out if you want. We can come back over here. Let's hit reload. In fact, let me restart the server just in case because that was a lot of stuff we did here. So let's run the server again. Let's come back here. Let's hit reload and then right click and let's inspect this page. And let's go to our storage section. And inside of here, you should see these cookies. And here, there's this, oops, there it is, session ID, right? And there it is right there. You can see this session ID is the session that has been created. This basically is me. I'm this session, right? So if I copy this and let's paste it up here. We can now look up this session ID and see if there's a session key in there, right? We created that session key just a couple of minutes ago. It should be inside this cookie and there won't be any information because we haven't put anything in our cart, but it'll at least show the session key if we've done everything correctly. So I'm going to copy this session ID and let's head back over to our terminal real quick and let's control C to break out of here and we can go Python manage.py shell and let's just, this just goes into the Python shell. And inside of here, we can go from Django.contrib.sessions.models. And the session models is where the database stores the session. It's the session model, right? We want to import our, like I said, our session model. So there we go. Now let's just create a variable. I'm just going to call it session underscore K, short for session underscore key. And this is going to be session.objects dot get and we want to set the primary key equal to whatever our session is and we just copied this just a second ago so I can paste that in there is my session and our quotation marks put parentheses and hit enter now we can look in that cookie so we can go session underscore k dot get underscore decoded so we need to decode it because you know it's just what we need to do otherwise it'd be unintelligible we'd be unable to read it so here we could see, okay, there's all kinds of stuff inside of here. And one of the things is sure enough, that session key with that empty Python dictionary. And if we head back over to our code, we remember we just created this session underscore key with an empty Python dictionary. Sure enough, we are good to go. We now have our session set up. It seems to be running. We haven't actually added anything in. We'll have to do some Ajax and we'll look at that in the next video. But yeah, we are moving right along and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Konami.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Konami.com, and I'll see you in the next video.